Kia's electric car sales have recently increased a lot. In fact, this year they've gone up quite a lot. And now Kia have three new electric cars. They've confirmed for most places around the world, including Australia and I believe the United States. There's the Kia EV4 and two other EVs, including a micro EV. So here are the details that we know so far. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. New buyers, EV buyers, including Australians, and I believe you guys in the United States and Europe as well, will get a choice of some new Kia EVs. The Kia EV4 hatch, I believe that's just gone on sale in the United States. That's coming to Australia in 2026. There's also the sedan version, which is a very odd looking car, which is a rival to the Tesla Model 3. Then there's the smaller Kia EV2 electric SUV, but there's also the Kia EV1, which is um, basically a mini car, kind of not the kind of car you'd expect considering uh, most manufacturers around the world have stopped selling small cars because they say they're not selling. All three small EVs or smallish EVs uh, will be produced at Kia's plant in landlocked Slovakia. So not in Asia, not in China, not in South Korea, but actually in Slovakia. Kia Australia has ruled out taking cars from a central European plant because of the additional shipping costs of shipping them all the way to Australia. So apparently now because EVs exported from Europe to Australia no longer pay the 5% tariff that they used to have to pay, that's been scrapped. Now they're actually saying, well, we're going to sell them. Considering they're made in Slovakia, though, I still think that'd be a bit pricey. The willingness to take EVs from Slovakia was confirmed by the brand's CEO, Damien Meredith, as part of the Global Kia Plan S strategy, which focuses on EVs as part of a shift to sustainable mobility or part of a shift to what Kia clearly sees as the future of the automotive industry, which is EVs. We're committed to Plan S and for us to be fully committed to Plan S, Plan S. We need to have those models coming through, he said to car sales. Nothing's off the table. That includes the picanto sized EV1, which is a very small electric SUV. I think it looks actually not bad. Anyhow, it's not likely to come to Australia until 2028, but yeah, Europe, of course, are getting this vehicle, this little EV1. And based on the design, I think it'll be a winner. These kind of small electric SUVs are doing quite well in Europe. However, the addition of the EV4 hatchback um, is also, I think, a good choice because the sedan looks really strange. I think the hatchback is actually not, not a bad looking car. The price is probably going to be just under 50,000 Australian dollars. So that's about 30,000 US dollars. So Kia is going to have quite a lot of choices uh, available. EV5, EV4, two versions, sedan and hatch, EV2, the EV1, uh, then there's the EV9. That's a lot of choice. Of course, did I just say the EV6? I probably did. But anyway, that's heaps of models. As you can see, Kia is definitely taking electric cars uh, very, very seriously. Oh, well, actually, guys, I missed another car, the EV3. That's a lot of models. That's almost 10. So to give you an idea on pricing, Kia's EVs are not cheap. The EV3, which is a small electric SUV, that's meant to be priced at, well, it's priced at 49000 Australian dollars. But you can buy a Geely EX5 for 40000 Australian dollars, quite a bit cheaper, it's a bit bigger, um, has a bit some better features as well. At the BYD Addo 3, that's around 40000 Australian dollars as well. So yeah, the, uh, the EV3 is a bit more expensive than some of its rivals, but in some ways it's, you know, you could say it's a little bit more premium, I guess, but um, I'm not sure if uh, people will actually differentiate between them. The Kia EV4 currently comes with either a 58 kilowatt hour battery in the base model, but the long range version gets a massive battery. It's an 81 kilowatt hour battery. And both of those models get a 150 kilowatt single electric motor that is the same motor as in the EV3. With the EV4, you get 430 kilometers of range, so about 260 miles of range in the base version. But the long range version has a lot of range, 630 kilometers. So 
you know, nearly 400 miles. Plus, the hatchback version gets 590 kilometers of range. You can see here that um, range is increasing significantly in EVs over the last six months, particularly. How big is it, the EV4? It's a similar size to a Tesla Model 3. It's slightly longer, but in terms of interior space, it's pretty similar. It's a bit weird looking, I think, but anyway, it's 4,730 millimeters long. So that means it's 10 millimeters longer, 12 millimeters wider than the Model 3, but um, yeah, very, very similar in size. Now that EV4, that's on sale right now in the United States. I believe it's just gone on sale recently. And it's also on sale in Europe. I don't believe the um, sedan version is likely to come to Australia. I think they're more likely to bring the hatch version, which um, would be probably a better seller. But anyway, having basically 600 kilometers of range, it's gonna be a popular car, I think, um, if they can get the price right. But either way, I think within the next four years, so by the end of 2029, there's going to be about nine different Kia electric car models on the market. And Kia is easily outselling Hyundai or Hyundai in EV sales in many locations around the world, which is um, kind of surprising to see that. I mean, Kia used to be the smaller brother, um, the neglected brother, you know, many years ago, more than a decade ago. And, and now Kia is sort of um, in some ways moving ahead of Hyundai, particularly when it comes to electric cars. Guys, let me know what your thoughts are. And thanks for watching. The new Kia EV4, this is a global car, kind of confusing because there's going to be two, two different versions of this vehicle. There's going to be one for the United States and a different one for everyone else that will be made, I believe, in China. The other one will be made in the United States. But this is actually quite an interesting electric car. It's a sedan, but not a sedan, sort of a liftback. Some people are saying they hate it. Some people say they love it. Uh, it's a, quite a polarizing looking vehicle. But there is one option, there is one choice to get this in with a 330 miles of EPA range, which seems like it's maybe quite a good option. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. Now, I filmed a video about this before and kind of got a little bit mixed up on myself because I've realized that there's two different versions of this car, the global version and the American version. They will be two different cars. Now, one thing to point out, it does not use Kia and Hyundai's eGMP platform with 800 volt capability. It's a bit cheaper, more affordable to manufacture because it uses 400 volt. That of course means charging speed is a little slower, but we'll get to that in a second. It does use Hyundai Motor Group's electric global modular platform, which is under the EV9 and the Ionic 5, but those use 800 volt and this does not. 